Sergeant Clear, good one. One to two, one five four out. It's April 2nd, 2022, as I was in the area of Chambly having lunch with a friend. Afterwards, heading back towards home, I hear Norfolk Southern train 154 in the distance over the radio. I had my gear with me and decided to catch them going by CP Goodwin before having to work Chambly Yard just up ahead. get a bonus tree afterwards with local job P-72 departing Dorville heading north to work industries between there and Gainesville. An old GP-60 was in charge of the northbound run. It's early the next morning just after getting off of work. The Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta was just around the corner. Around this time, Norfolk Southern, CSX, and BNSF all send their business trains out that way for the matches. The BNSF office car special happened to pass through the Atlanta area and heard them nearby on the radio. They run as train 054 on NS rails, as they are seen at Stockbridge going in the siding to meet a northbound train.
I would have stuck around to catch them again, but due to time constraints, I had to head north. I was heading towards home, but I first had to turn west towards Villarica on the way. I happened to run into NS Train 225 as I was passing the east end, hot intermodal out of Atlanta starting its long journey west across the country. This train is handed over to the UP at Shreveport, Louisiana by way of the KCS en route to Los Angeles, California. On April 4th, I'm back on the Greenville District visiting my friend Jariel Ely in Gainesville, Georgia. NS Train 238 was in the area as we catch them going through CP Midland. They had an NS AC44 C6M leader with a nice P5 horn. then moved up to White Sulphur Road to catch local train P11. They carry Autorax out of Commerce to East Point with a stop at New Holland Yard in Gainesville to make a pickup. They were powered by SD60E 7006 and an old SD40-2 Snootnose 3448.
we get to CP Red Lane finding them stopped. They get permission from the dispatcher to pass the southbound stop signal, then head towards New Holland. Later that night, the northbound run, P-12, was close by as we caught them passing by Flowery Branch. A loud third-gen K-5 LLA horn would break the midnight silence. chase them back up to Gainesville at the Dorsey Street Road Crossing with double mechanical bells constantly ringing as the gates are in the lowered position. Probably one of my favorite crossings on the Greenville District. P-12 also works New Holland, but they didn't have any work tonight. It was a straight trip all the way to Commerce.
On April 13th, I arrive at CP Bridge in time for train 189 going from main track 1 to the runaround, bypassing Inman Yard as they head for East Point. Moved back to the Greenville side, finding a Dorville Yard local moving north with a slug set for power. found surprising about this move was what looked like another yard job pushing on the rear. I had hoped to catch Norfolk Southern's office car special through here, but mechanical delays kept pushing them back, and I couldn't stay very long. I'll get them next time. Temperatures were starting to warm up as I found my way to the Georgia Northeastern Railroad at Univetta Road outside of Canton. This was where the old Pilgrim's Pride grain elevator used to be. Now, it's no more after moving over to the CSX mainline in Ranger, Georgia. Tracks serving the old elevator were taken out, leaving nothing behind but ballast in its path. I was waiting here for the northbound road train, timing it just right as the old 9706 leads the way to Tate.
wraps up April for now. We had a little outing at Austell to end the month, which will be released on my channel here soon. Until then, make sure you have that notification bell on and are subscribed to my channel so you won't miss it. See y'all then from Canton, Georgia at milepost 457.8 along the Georgia Northeastern Railroad.